Well, greetings once again, blade lovers. Yes, it's me, this old sword. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I finally broke down and got another off-grid knives. Off-grid knives knife. <laughs> this one seems to have been all the rage lately on a number of YouTube channels, including my good friend Bob DeMarco and uh, Peter over at Therapeutic Edge uh, may have been reviewed elsewhere but I figure I'd give it a go I've had two other off-grid knives I no longer have them I've uh, gifted them away to uh, the knife junkie for a good cause and they were auctioned off so here we are once again diving into the waters of off-grid knives I don't want you to just stare at the box, so uh, my apologies if that's happening as I go on. But here's what we find inside of the box, and we find inside of most of the off-grid, if not all of the off-grid knives, is a full-color catalog, quite nice, of all their offerings. And I'm not finding the Elites anymore on Amazon. I don't know if they've been discontinued, but... If you know, you can write that in the comments. Took the liberties of getting rid of the plastic bag. We've got some high-density foam here, which keeps the knife quite safe in shipment. And there's some other information on the back, their uh, website, and so forth. So here we have the off-grid Cayman, named after a crocodile in South America and apparently the owner of off-grid has spent a good deal of time traveling sorry I don't remember his name offhand but he was interviewed on the Knife Junkie and will be interviewed again in August I understand for Bob's podcast so look out for that what we have is a relatively small knife and what put me off on this until I saw a couple videos with a full grip on the handle was that although the blades around 3.2 inches of D2 steel cryo D2 steel I believe and the uh, the handle however I was concerned that it would be kind of on the small side but you know what I'm loving the ergos and I have to say, uh, Bob DeMarco was right. I keep mentioning Bob, but, you know, uh, his channel gives some good direction, and uh, he's interviewed me. He does Thursday Night Knives. He does a number of video uh, offerings throughout the week, uh, his knife collection, state of the collection, all that good kind of stuff uh, that I don't have time for. So I am uh, glad that that is being done because it's good educational and entertaining material. But this is basically a liner locking knife. The thing is about off-grid knives is you're going to be more impressed by their usability and EDC carry usefulness than you are going to be impressed by their looks. Although, got a real pointy, call it nasty, but useful kind of blade on this Cayman. We've got a deep carry clip. G10 handles with a um, good amount of texturing to them. Not overly gripping, just about right. But the contour on the bottom of this handle is quite nice. And for those that like the point down grip, it's ideal. Because as Bob was pointing out, you've got a bend for each of your knuckles on your thumb there. Really neat. Um, Holding it in the hand this way, got a little left over. Nice universal switchable pocket clip with flush screws and a relief for the pocket clip. So completely smooth in and out, deep carry. That is the way to go. They don't yet make this in anything other than a blacked out version. Um, 
I'm told these are made by Best Tech. Their higher ends are made by Wii. But it's very smooth action on bearings. Definitely fidget friendly. No problems whatsoever. Um, more of a light switch than a push button. So can we fail it? Yeah, we can fail it. But the detent's actually pretty good. You can hear it break. I haven't failed it yet other than attempting to do so on purpose. So we've got a screw layout here of two screws in the back. T8 for the pivot. I haven't needed to adjust or oil this. Perfect out of the box. And I have to say that for the other two off-grid knives that I've had as well. And there are reviews on those still on the channel, so you can check them out. Nice clip with a good strength. Not wimpy, but it's going to grip your pocket no matter whether you're wearing jeans or what have you. But it's going to come out easily as well. Not going to hang up. Let's do this. We'll do some of our own measurements. And it is a small knife that isn't small, is all that I can say, because small knives, I have a difficulty with the handles and uh, really making them usable. So this is a, we're going to call it just a skosh over 7.5 inches. We're going to call it 7.6 inches overall. And the blade we're going to call um, like a 3.4 I'm going to call it a 3.4. It's almost three and a half inches. A little bigger than the specs would indicate. Um, we're going to call it 3.4, 3.3, 3.4. Whatever makes you happy, right? We got it set for millimeters. So we're going to see that it is a 3.1 millimeter blade stock of D2. And exactly half an inch. So you've got plenty of handle to hang on to. You really lock on to this. That's the neat thing. Again, it's, it's a knife that's not going to win any beauty contests, but you may use the hell out of it. And you can beat on them pretty good, from what I understand. It's not a light knife for its size. It's 4.4, so yeah, it's under 5 ounces, if you want to look at it that way. For its size, um, there are lighter knives. But, again, this is a user, you know, and it's a relatively thin stock and relatively thin point. So, you know, I wouldn't be prying any nails out of boards with it, but as far as detail work goes, and you've got jimping almost all the way out to the uh, crest of that Bowie-style blade. I'm going to call it a Bowie. Sure looks like an old-fashioned Bowie clip. It's supposed to resemble the snout of a Cayman. But what makes this knife is the recess for the finger there and this hump here. And um, nice spot for the last two fingers. I have no problems. My grip is not compromised at all. And again, with that guard there, I feel locked in. I really do thumb on the back of the blade and I can hang on to this all day long and he, he ain't getting it away from me nice and smooth certainly not drop shutty but smooth enough and if it's made by best tech you're doing a great job with it how about some comparisons we're gonna bring out the griptilian first and I think we're going to find that the Griptilian is a larger knife. Certainly. Yep. And going to the other side of the spectrum. The Rat 1 is hugely longer. But a bigger package for the pocket. And I don't know that it's going to be any more useful. It might. So what can I say? What else can I say about this particular off-grid knife? It, it's 
I would say it's my favorite so far. And I've had their assisted opening knives. I've had the Sea Dog version two, which I donated. Uh, I think Rapid Fire was the assisted knife. That's a nice knife. It's just um, it was a little too big and a little too heavy for me. I may consider two of their newer offerings, the Grizzly, which is a six inch bladed uh, food prep style outdoor knife and the uh, Enforcer XL, which is a full four inch uh, reverse Tonto blade, which you can see reviews on as well. At any rate, there we go. The Cayman by Off Grid Knives. Let me know if you like this. Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Maybe we'll be back with more Off Grid Knives. You never know. This Old Sword, signing out.